So right off the bat, this is a very different mission from what we normally see. We're going to have a very different order of operations. You can see we've got these hay bales everywhere, and these are... The first order of business is to grab a fire star from over here and burn every single one of them. We have one type to start with, that's being red, that being reds. We want to convert them to as many winged Pikmin as possible, so we want to use all the candy pop buds. Eventually we're going to end up here at the top. So we're going to have Ochi stand right here by this flower and throw all of our pick or throw five Pikmin in there and he'll start automatically plucking it. Right here this withering blow or this puppy blowhog is one of the most dangerous in this entire stage. If it blows Pikmin just right it can push them off the cliff and you lose them for good. Um, and in this one you really need as many Pikmin as possible. Um, I panic but I still managed to get the sheer rig in time. So we're gonna throw five Pikmin into the pink candy pop bud and grab a fire starter. Ochi, meanwhile, we're gonna set on an auto path towards those uh, winged Pikmin. We wanna keep our squad separate for this. Weird as this is, this is a very tight mission, kinda like the last one, but there's also a lot of waiting time because of how many nugget piles there are. You can see there's another one here, it's already two. Uh, here, I'm going to take this turn super tight to avoid this flighty joust mite so it doesn't have time to react to me. It, it has time to pop out of the ground, but it doesn't have time to grab a member of my squad. Uh, we want to try to limit our runs with this fire starter to be only one. Um, these bumbling snitch bugs, or these swooping snitch bugs, can also be exceptionally dangerous just because they can fly over pits, and if you're not careful with where you're throwing, you can throw them into the pit. Um, we definitely want to open these up because these are five more, or ten more, pink uh, winged Pikmin. Um, right here you can see what I'm talking about, he's right on the edge, and some of my Pikmin, or actually just one of them, fell off into the cliff. So now I have to wait for him to get to safer ground before I take out the last little sliver of his health. And I have to end up doubling back for a fire starter because there's the last one at the top of that hill. Um, but at this point, uh, I'm thinking of automating Ochi, but then I remember I had this Nugget Pile. It takes 50, so with the 10 it'll take it 5 rotations. We definitely want to prioritize our uh, Winged Pikmin on these Nugget Piles because there's conveyor belts all over the place and Winged Pikmin completely ignore conveyor belts. So we're going to burn this last fire starter here, or this last set of hay here. Um, that fire starter no longer has any purpose for us. The last wing Pikmin in these. And we're going to automate the captain over to where that uh, flighty joust mine was. It doesn't show up on the map because it's underground, but I know it's there because I've played this mission and I can read the map. Uh, here again, we have 10 winged Pikmin, so you're going to have 30 in total by the end of this. 30 of each. Cursor got stuck on an enemy corpse there. We're gonna throw him onto that. That one's 40, so we'll take them four rotations. Here, because I'm coming at it from a different angle, he's gonna be facing me, but I'm able to turn in time. Uh, he gets in the air, I throw Pikmin off, and there we go. All the danger in this mission is decided. Most of the piles we're gonna want winged, wings on. That one you can put reds on because there's a conveyor belt going in one direction and a regular path going the other, so no matter what, it's going to be just as fast for them as it would be for Winged Pikmin. Um, and then we're going to use Ochi to transport this bell. That pile at the top of the hill, since it's the last one you get to, and since it has so many nuggets in it, I believe it was 60, it's going to take forever. Uh, I walked by that corpse because if you have an upgrade later in the game, I don't remember what it's called, but I'll flash it up on screen here, um, you can actually transport items that are one width, or one weight. Um, so if you have that, it could be useful for this downtime, to so just throw the captain on those. Because there's the four corpses here and that puppy blowhawk. Uh, right here, Ochi's just gonna take the bell back. I'm putting him on some of the heavier treasures, but also with the same, uh, philosophy as the reds, where it's a quick and easy path for him. But in his case, we're not going to need him. We can deal with one active captain for a bit here, so it's really not that big a deal if we don't have access to him for too long. 
Uh, right here, I'm gonna have the captain go back to base. Which just looks like he has something in his mouth that he shouldn't. I just love it. Um, grab all these Pikmin. Uh, I'm gonna have the wing Pikmin actually take back this rattle. Just because of how many I have. That aren't. that won't be doing anything, anyways. We're gonna get these treasures, and then we're gonna take. go up to the top to put the last wing Pikmin on there. Once again, we see that the Pikmin absolutely love to climb on Ochi, but we don't want them to right now, so I'm gonna just mash the disband button that I mapped and start carrying back another moderately heavy treasure. If a treasure is 10 or above, that's usually my um, limit for, yeah, Ochi should probably take this, just because those 10 Pikmin are better spent in other areas. Um, right here, I'm gonna call them from beyond the treadmill, just because I didn't think to grab them before. Once again, we're going to put the wings on these corpses and the whistle up up there, because they can completely go over the pit, so they can actually take a diagonal path here. A lot of people say that wings aren't that good in this game and that they got heavily nerfed, but this is one aspect where people just ignore that. Like in the Dandori uh, challenges, they're really good. Um, and right here, we see that there's... I think it was like eight or something left. Or maybe it's just the one. But because of that, I can safely rush the re all of my reds onto it and not feel like I'm wasting the speed because they're not going to go the opposite direction. Once again, we see another high score. Good. I was missing those. 